Hi guys, Brian here. Um, here's the thing, for the last couple of days I've been working on um, the video series that I'm presenting on Patreon about the history of the Walk of Fame. And um, yesterday I was down here at the corner of Hollywood and uh, La Brea where, where the, the series will begin, uh, there uh, at the statues. Um, and uh, I took some photographs. And the weird thing about the photographs, it was one of those situations where um, I, I knew what I was taking pictures of, but didn't realize it until I got home exactly what it was. That, that's the best way I can phrase this. And what it was uh, is quite frankly disgusting. That's the best way I can put it. So here's the video. Now the piece itself was done um, in 1993. Um, I, I do a whole video about it. But short story, uh, it's four women of four different ethnicities who came here and became famous. Uh, you've got Anna Mae Wong, um, who did silent and talking pictures. Uh, she did things like The Thief of Baghdad and Shanghai Express. Um, then you've got Dolores Del Rio, a Mexican actress, who um, she did about 30 films in Hollywood, another couple dozen in Mexico itself. Uh, what Price Glory, she's amazing at What Price Glory. Uh, by the way, the, the art deco of this, everything about it is just suddenly beautiful. Um, this is Mae West, and that's what I have to say about Mae West. She's just, she's Mae West for God's sake. But she did things like My Little Chickadee with W.C. Fields, um, I'm No Angel, She Done Them Wrong, Diamond Lil, things like that. And then the last one is Dorothy Dandridge. Now, Dorothy Dandridge was the first African-American woman to be nominated, the first woman of color, period, to be nominated for a Best Actress Academy Award for the film Carmen in 1954. If you have not watched Carmen, it's freaking amazing. So um, you'll notice the plaque is gone. In fact, this has been around for so long, 26 years now, that it's been, it's worn, the plaques are, have been taken a long time ago. But here's what happened yesterday when I got home. What I noticed was this. Someone thought, I guess it'd be funny, for lack of a better way of putting it, to put what appears to be black shoe polish on Dorothy Dandridge's face. Now, um, you can see, and it doesn't seem to be paint. Uh, it's an ink of some type or possibly a shoe polish. I tried wiping it off just with water um, and it's, it won't. And I'm not going to damage it, you know, like with an acid tape or something like that. But some sick, 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 sick son of a bitch did this. Now here's the part that's really disturbing. And this is the main thing about this, why I'm doing this. Um, whoever did this could have picked any statue here, any one of these statues and, and put that on it. No, they had to know Hollywood history to go out of their way. This is not a coincidence, okay? They knew how, enough Hollywood history to go out of their way to pick Dorothy Dandridge to put to black shoe polish on, the, the, on their face, okay? That, that, that disturbs me to no end. Um, sadly, this seems to be where we're still now in 2020, uh, and I don't know what to say about that, but uh, it's, it's, I'm sending a, contacting the city about this and things like that, the people who do the cleaning here. But um, I wanted you guys to see this. It's just, um, it's horrible. That's all I can say, it's just horrible. So, um, I don't know, take care of each other, that's all I can say.